Welcome to the video tutorial for Cubase Studio 5. We're going to cover two things in this tutorial. We're going to cover the new project assistant window and we're going to cover how to route a MIDI track through a VST instrument of your choice. Okay, so when you're ready go ahead and click on the Cubase Studio 5 icon down here and this will open the new project assistant window. Okay, so here you have it. This is uh, new to versions uh, 5 plus of Cubase. We're actually using Cubase Studio 5 here, um, but the project assistant comes on all the versions. So you've got your six tabs up at the top. You've got recent, which will obviously show you recent projects you've opened. You've got recording. Uh, this provides you with a set of preset templates. Um, all the tracks will be set up for you. Virtual instruments will be there, ready to go. Um, nice and easy. You've got your scoring tab which uh, is obviously you can produce scores for uh, music and things you create. You've got templates laid out there. Uh, production templates, uh, all your different styles and genres of music from uh, blues through to metal. Uh, all templates will be set up for you ready to go. Um, and you've got your mastering which is uh, just one stereo mastering template if you want to master any of the tracks you make. Um, and there's the more template which basically includes default and empty which I've both found to be the same just a, an empty project that's where most um, most of your start start your recordings um, okay so that's the the new project assistant uh, we're gonna go ahead now and open the project uh, which I've created to show you how to route a MIDI track so you just click on the project and go ahead and click open it's nice and quick Okay, so here we've got Cubase Studio 5 in all its glory. Uh, you can see the um, <clears throat> voice indicator as I uh, speak into the mic down at the bottom right. Okay, so uh, to make a VST instrument, this is on a Mac, obviously you have to go up, you click on Devices, sorry, and go down to VST Instruments, or you can just hit the uh, F11 shortcut, we'll bring that over for you to see. And uh, so in this version of Cubase, you can have up to 32 virtual instruments as mentioned in the review we're just going to use one for this demo we'll use contact 4 for example um, and you'll get a pop-up saying do you want to create a MIDI track assigned to plug in contact 4 click cancel because I'm going to show you how to do that manually so that's created your contact play or virtual instrument in this case so we'll close that for now you can close that window as well so if you go over here and right click on this little blue strip to the left and go add MIDI track, count one, you can add the track. So you've got your MIDI track there. And all you should need to do, over on the left here, you've got your inputs and your outputs for that MIDI track. You need to set the output to the VST that you just created. So in our case, it's contact four. So if we do that, and that's all we should need to do now any MIDI played into here will be routed through into the virtual instrument. So we just check we've got input. So there's the MIDI input going through there. So if we go into uh, the contact virtual instrument, to get there we'll go back into the uh, VST instruments. If we set up just a simple demonstration here okay so we've got sound there so now if we go back and select our MIDI track and have input there you can see it's routed straight through to the virtual instrument nice and easy all you need to do now is record enable that track record enable the project and you can record your MIDI information straight into a MIDI, MIDI track and route it through to a VST virtual instrument. Thanks very much for watching. This has been a tutorial on Cubase Studio 5.